All right, a little more in depth on a TPS 320i. Flip up the cover here. You've got your home screen, languages, units, times, dates, like all kinds of setup stuff, um, system information, everywhere from login, remote support to password protected. Uh, just a lot of a lot of options that can go on in here. Interface setup, wire feeders. Uh, we have switched up from the last video here, and we are actually in Synergic Pulse for aluminum. So up here we're at uh, 4000 series aluminum, 100% argon, and that gets changed over here. Just a simple few buttons, and you're off and going. Uh, the nice part about this one is we've got a push-pull gun to hook up to this and got some uh, nothing special here just normal 045 drive wheels here they're a neural drive wheel and we're running a Hobart uh, Maxil MIG we do have uh, water cooler hooked up this time, so water cool gun, and that gets us to this baby right here. So here's your water cooled push pull gun, and uh, got a digital display on the back end of it there. Kind of hard to see with the video. Once you open that up, you can see your drive wheels inside there, and still again, got your display. So. Your wires through there are live all the time. And so just like a lot of other spool guns or push pull guns, you've got like a knob on there. This one actually has got a button that I can push. And so I can ramp that up and down from out at the end of the gun. So very, very slick when you're out there actually welding. Uh, this thing is about I don't know, 25 feet long or so. It's wrapped all over the dang place here. So, Synergic Pulse, uh, very, very smooth operation there. It's it's definitely a nice output. The material thickness and the auto set part of that is, uh, I mean, it's about as accurate as, as you could want it to be. Might be a little bit hot sometimes, but I think a lot of auto sets are. Uh, a touch on the warm side just to kind of cover themselves and make sure that it is hot enough to uh you know 5000 series 4000 series a lot of different options in there for aluminums this is just happens to be what we've got going on here it is an 047 but there isn't a uh, 047 option and then as far as your adjustments go again you can do material thickness um, you can bump voltages. You've got arc length correction as well as dynamic correction too. So if you want to really dial in your puddle, get it to where you want to be. About as simple as it gets really. I mean, they seem kind of confused or like kind of cumbersome because they're so big and fancy looking. But when you break it down, it's, it's really just a few buttons and uh, off you go and you're welding up some aluminum.